Hi guys and welcome to the additional video of the EK Kit Classic RGB S240 and how to place it in a loop. It's practically very easy and I've done it in let's say 5 minutes because there's no hard tubing. You have soft tubes, you have to place the uh, pump and reservoir uh, on certain point. You have to place the water block CPU water block on the CPU which is almost like placing any other cooler and then you have to place the radiator uh, additional to that uh, placing the pipes is fairly easy much easier than standard hard tubing but to be honest this was my first soft tubing loop now the thing is uh, last time I didn't mention and it's not that I forgot I didn't I just didn't want to mix it with the EK classic kit now you can now buy for uh, you know to give a bit of a color to everything you can get the EK Cryofuel dye pack which consists of red blue and yellow and you can mix it up and do all sorts of crazy stuff to your clear uh, EK Cryofuel now you can mix you can pick you can adjust you can do everything with this but this is just here for mentioning today we're going to talk how to do this now this is it this is the cpu block the ek supremacy classic rgb and the pump is ek res 140 spc pwm classic rgb pump and res combo now to stop talking about nonsense and uh, stuff like that let's turn on the pc and let me show you what i actually did here If I want, this could be RGB Madness right here and until uh, operational system boots, uh, the RGB is going crazy definitely. But I placed everything to have a uh, no light uh, blue uh, color that kind of fits the whole sheen. I could go with white exactly because it would fit the whole white case, white, black, RGB, chrome uh, cables and stuff like that. But that isn't the point the thing is you could connect everything with the four connector splitter for the rgb and you could connect the cpu block the two fans on the top that are ek varders 120 millimeter and you can connect the pump as well and you know you can synchronize it as you can see everything is in light blue white color except for the graphic card that needs additional uh, our sync software but nevertheless I connected everything to the motherboard so when you install the Asus Aura sync you could manage all the lights as you wish. So you could go RGB Madness, you could go Spectrum, you could go fade in and fade out, breed, whatever you wish you could manage it. And as you can see the colors are really nice and vivid. Not, now when it comes to placing everything and filling everything and to get a certain loop and stuff like that. First you need to place the CPU water block on the CPU, place the motherboard inside, trying to um, take into consideration how you're going to plan the loop. Since the reservoir is already on top of the pump, you don't need to manage that, it just does everything for you. Otherwise, if the reservoir was detached from the pump, so you have a separate pump and the reservoir, the reservoir has to be always on top of the pump, because when you fill in the loop, coolant needs to go directly to the pump so it doesn't run dry. And that's not good for the pump, because definitely it will stop working. Now. As for the radiator, you can place it anywhere you wish, since we're talking about 240, that means either on front if it's a different case or on top, which is quite alright. Now, taking into consideration that placing pipes and everything, cutting the pipes as well, you need to cut the soft tubing straight because the compression needs to happen correctly and you don't want any leaks. Now, it won't happen. You just have to cut them straight and everything will be exactly as it should be. Now when it comes to placing the soft tubing on the fittings, the thing is, which is fairly easy, you just need to put a little bit of water, a little bit of moisture on the top of the pipe so it nicely fits into the top of the fitting. 
After that you place the top of the fitting and screw it on top of the original fitting that is either on the block or on the radiator or, or on the pump which makes a nice tight uh, security for the soft tubing for the soft tube that it won't go out of its position. Now as I mentioned on the last video on the CPU block and on the pump you have inlet and outlet written on it so you can't make a mistake how to make the loop so it's fairly easy I usually do it like this radiator cools the water water goes directly to the reservoir which accumulates more cold water and it gives the CPU just enough to cool it down. Now you can manage any other way, it doesn't matter actually, I tried everything, but I prefer doing it like this because more cool water, more cooling. Now the difference might be in few degrees, but it's not noticeable, but hey, it's up to you to do it as you wish. Then I did it like so. From the radiator it goes directly to the pump, from the pump it goes outside to the CPU block which has the inlet already written in, so it has in and out, and then the out from the CPU block goes back to the radiator. Now this is a really cool set because as I said, you can manage this in five minutes, not talking about some extra stuff for doing some crazy loops with soft tubing, even though you could do as you can see right here, but it's fairly easy to manage it. Now talking about the temperatures, we're going to connect it and we're going to see some temperatures in game and in idle. Okay guys, now here is the thing. We tested PUBG on ultra settings, we tested Battlefield 1 on ultra settings and I ran Time Spy in 3D Mark in 2K resolution or is it 4K? I don't know. Uh, well, the resolution was really high. Now I'm running here an extreme processor on X299 motherboard. So this is Intel Core i7-7820X. So basically uh, it's uh, stronger than other uh, normal gaming processors. Basically we had testing in PUBG. So there was like 30% load on ultra settings and we had like 50 51 Celsius and idle on the processor the temperature is 35 36 Now when it goes to Battlefield 1 also ultra settings full HD we had temperatures around 52 51 52 maybe but the load is also the same so I had to you know benchmark it a bit more uh, add more stress to the CPU now when we go into uh, 3D Mark, the Time Spy, and you get a full load on the CPU, I have to mention again, this is 7820X i7 Intel Core. And uh, the temperatures, of course, when the load went, got bigger to 70-80%, uh, we got temperatures around 60-65 which is still really really good and if you go with the a bit lower processor like 9700k or some amd ryzen 5 3600x or 3700x or anything like that i think the uh, temperatures won't be any higher than that i think they will be even lower basically because this is a bit of a processor that kind of is getting warmer we're talking about eight cores 16 threads and when i had my custom loop on this processor idle uh, was uh, 28 29 but i had like two radiators one was pe 360 and the other one was se 360 with two graphic cards still going 50 55 on full load so guys yeah i mean it's really incredible. The thing is, the the EK Kit Classic RGB S240 is really nice. And the thing is, in their specification, I know they tested it a lot. They did test uh, addition to adding the GPU. You can add a GPU, but uh, adding uh, more stuff to it. For instance, uh, overclocking uh, is not possible with the S240. Uh, with S360 you can add two GPUs under water block. And talking about overclocking, you can overclock either processor or the GPU. When we talk about classic P240 you can add GPUs as well and you can overclock as well, but only CPU or GPU. 
And finally, when we get to the biggest kit, the P360 Classic RGB, uh, you can overclock the CPU and the GPU. So, the, I mean, it's a thicker radiator, it gives more cooling and stuff like that. Uh, of course, with the 240, you have two fans, with 360, you have three fans. So, you have to take into consideration more surface of the radiator cools better, more fans more cold air fresh air to cool down the radiator and the liquid inside so basically yeah i mean this is definitely something that if you want to go with something that is full rgb like pump fans and the cpu water block and you want to go with slightly custom loop that isn't hard tubing that is more like soft tubing this is it guys i mean there's no other way basically and this is a start for you that want to start water cooling this is definitely something that i would recommend without a doubt so basically uh soft tubing first to see how everything functions uh maybe add a drain port so basically that is it, I don't want to go into difference with soft tubing and hard tubing because that's a topic for something else. Uh, definitely I'll put the links below for the S240 and every single other kit, so S360, P240 and P360 and of course the EK Waterblocks web shop ekwb.com below. So check it out, if you want to make it look even nicer and even cooler, definitely go with the EK. Thanks for watching, see you next time, don't forget to like if you like the video and of course subscribe if you want to see more in the future. Thanks, bye bye.